Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 17 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to send it to twin motion. Now, we're setting up some materials and then we're going to continue working on this. I want to add in some of the vegetation. Uh, we already added the grass. Now we're going to continue working on this by adding in some trees at the back. So this tree is really nice in terms of the how it is very long and how it shapes at the back. Even this one, I'm going to choose to add it right there. Um, also, I want to select this. So the glass, I think we need to make it darker a bit so that when it reflects, it will reflect like that. And then bigger trees at the back of the house. So that when we see it from here, it's looking like everything is showing like that. And then we need to have smaller trees right here and then at the back something big again I want to add another one but with a gap and then here we just need to make some small trees to go around so just adding some trees at the back will make it much better The bigger the trees at the back, the better, so that it shows something like that. So instead of this background, we're going to go back here into materials, ground, nature, and we're just going to add grass right there. Let's select that, move it a little bit on that side, and basically our shot is like this. We're going to crop that a little bit at the back. We might just add more trees to scatter at the back so that it doesn't look like it's boring. So. We could use vegetation paint and add some of this make sure that it will cover everything at least that we know of and then here select those up to here to change the density and then here to make it bigger and then carefully just add it at the back long enough that it's not overshadowing this um, this one's at the front this is for the shadow and that is very important so when that that view 
goes in it is reflecting on this one as well so now as at least you can see how it looks obviously we're going to move it forward like that and have the shot like this so with that said we could change some of the visual effects right here in terms of gradient saturation so it depending on how you like it to be viewed it's up to you to change I like the white balance to be lower exposure to be high enough sun intensity ambient is good enough uh, here here and then here it will change when we're gonna render it in once we're rendering it with uh, path tracer on so I'm gonna create an image so I'm gonna create this image like this I'm gonna pull it up a little bit because I want to showcase this um, this structure and then this view so I'm gonna pull it down a little bit like that and then I want to make sure that um, my viewport is showing the center of the view here and then click on create once you create that you can click more and then now path tracer we can turn it on and then from here to make it faster what you have to do is just put it in low resolution for now and then from here you change the exposure and how it will balance out in the view so now here we can put one basically here we could put two sun intensity and then exposure and then balance it out to with white balance and if you notice it looks dark that's because we didn't add any um we don't we didn't add any lighting on this one so what you can do as well is to add area lights facing on this side just to have that um lighting So here we could click on refresh on that. Um, if we could mode, we could see it like this. Now I'm just going to add an area light. So here I'm going to put the area light in front of this, rotate it facing on this side pull it up I want it to be big enough so the length should be wide enough and then th the length to be wide enough and then the width to be wide enough as well so here should be around 10 I think 10 is good enough I think we could do 10 and then the width is probably 8 and then once we go back to the image at least there is 
something going on here. So the only thing we need to do is pull it up a little bit. Change the angle so that everything is showing properly. You can add multiple and um, deal with the at attenuation and then change the intensity as well. So for now, let's leave it at 300 lumens. And then let's try it with this. So now it looks nicer. Um, and then from here, we could change this one, even though we're still in path tracer mode. It's very slow, but we can actually move it and then we could create fast enough the image I'll put it up a little bit and move it like that and then from that create an image again and then that's when I'm gonna change it to high so that once we do our um, our exposure so here I made a mistake I'm going to change that a little bit and then click on that and make sure to refresh we can put it up a little bit and then change that so that's good this is for sure high and then here let's turn this to high as well we can change this to move it faster refresh and select that and pull it to high so now at least everything is on high under viewport so that's how you create image now to go and change to video I'm going to just create the video like this click on video to create video number one we're gonna set it up like that and then I'm gonna move in similar to this and then click create key, key, key frame and change this to number six or six seconds then change my orientation to focus on this add a new video part change it up like that and add that one as well so now if I re review this it will be looking like that so I'm gonna change this to 7 seconds and then here I just want a view like that I'm gonna change this to six seconds 
most of the time I don't use the 10 seconds it's because that's too much probably on this one we could do probably 8 we could review it first if it's fast enough or too much slow but it's up to you to double check how it will look and then here we could just pull it off from here around four seconds here I'm gonna select that around four seconds again then two seconds right here just a still picture or image and then here going up image or video probably we could do just do five seconds of that and then here going out four seconds of that and then going over here four seconds as well I'm gonna add this three seconds and then going out five seconds going out there five seconds going out right here I'm gonna redo really that, refresh that, going out and then lastly my shot right here to go out five seconds as well So I'm happy with this. Make sure to save it first. And then here, I want to actually click on this menu, rename this. This will be show real video. And then here, I'm going to duplicate this and then rename it again. This will be my short video and then click on more click on more here I'm going to change this to 1000 and then this one should be 700 
and then from here I'm going to review what I did so review the video and to just edit anything that needs to be added that's fine this one's still good so only the short film is needed to be changed on that probably this one can be two seconds this one can be four seconds right here okay so that's that is uh, good I'm happy with this so now the only thing that we need to do is to select all of this and then select this one and then click on export and we're good so thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below